Always great catching up with my next guest, the Cole Train, Cole Smith, who's finally got a fight here. He's coming up uh, on September 5th. He's going to be taking on Hunter Azure. Uh, Cole, how's it going? Uh, live on location from the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to get my food in, man. I'm pretty hungry. What, what's, but, uh, what's, what, what, are you for, what are you eating for lunch right now? I got to ask. I am eating my man Frankie's. He hooks me up with meals. I've got, uh, what is it, chicken and cauliflower rice and uh, some uh, crab patties, I believe. Nice. Delicious. Very uh, very good, man. Well, uh, first off, so happy to see you get a fight. It's been a very long time. If I'm not mistaken, is this not the longest layoff of your career, uh, you know, going from fight to fight? Yeah, I, I think it has been since I started. Yeah, I think it has been. But it is what it is. It's no big deal. I've been doing this for a long time, so it's not like... It's not a big deal, you know. Now, last time I actually saw you in person, um, and I think it was the last time I actually spoke to you, was uh, you know way back on the last Rise card. You had a couple teammates competing on the card. I know you mentioned you had some bumps and bruises. Uh, when were you actually able to you know train full time and get ready for a fight? Like when were you actually looking to get back in there? Uh, a few, like a while now. You know what I mean? I haven't fought for a long time, right? But um, I was injured for a little bit. But but for the last four or five months, I've been all good, man. I've been training like super hard. Uh, COVID's really actually helped by slowing me down and not having to grind so much and kind of learn a little bit more. So it's actually been real nice, to be honest. What What were some of those injuries you had, um, and, and how long was sort of the recovery time on that? Uh, my knee was really bad for a long time, uh, but it, it wasn't like it wasn't injured. Like it wasn't like you could have trained through it. It was just like yeah, you wanted yeah, to make sure. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and it was just a lot of weird things, man. I remember. Uh, my rib was hurt, and I just had a lot of, like, really weird things all at once. You know what I mean? Like, my finger was screwed up, and it was just countless different little things, and it was just all in, like, a month and a half or two months or three months, and it just kind of all hit me at once. But I'm all good now, bro. Yeah, you're ready to go. Um, it has been a bit since your last fight, like I mentioned, uh, UFC Vancouver in September. You had that uh, split decision loss to, to Miles Johns. I actually went back and, and looked at the fight again and I uh, also saw the media scores for that. I don't know if you're aware, but uh, like half the media, I think six media members scored the fight for you, six scored it for Miles. What did you learn the most from that fight? That was uh, obviously a tough fight. Uh, I learned that um, I put a lot of pressure on myself into that fight. You know, I'm fighting in Rogers Arena, my second fight. You know what I mean? I got everyone in Canada messaging me, blah, 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 you know, and I just fucking wanted to win so bad. You know what I mean? And I, it was in my head that I was going to go in, take him down, take his back, and choke him out, you know? And I did all of that in just the last part I had trouble with, you know, choking him out, the main part. Uh, so I just kept, I, you know, I just, I really wanted that finish and I kept going and going and going and, and I didn't really just kind of settle down, you know what I mean? And, uh, and I, I learned, you know, not to do that, <laughs> you know what I mean? And just don't rush things, you know? Yeah. It's easy to get caught up in, in all that stuff, but, uh, you know, looking back, I know the result wasn't what you wanted, but it must've been pretty damn cool to fight in Rogers arena. And then your good buddy, Tristan Connolly getting that huge win as well. That, that must've been so cool to see that. No, yeah, no complaints, man. What a life I'm living, you know, like. Made it to the UFC, get a fight all around, fight in my home city, Rogers Arena. It's all positive, you know. People put too much onto the sport, winning and losing and, and where they're at in their career and all this shit. But if you're not enjoying the ride, bro, what's the point of being on the train, you know what I mean? So I just kind of learned to enjoy the ride more and, and just have fun with it and not put so much pressure on everything. And just go out and have a good time, man. You're living the life, bro. You're in the UFC and you're, you're fucking getting fights and making money. And it's not bad. It's not a bad way to make a career. So Hunter Azure, uh, what do you know about him? How do you feel like you match up against him in this fight? He, he's got some heavy hands. Um, I know he's a good wrestler. I know his, I think his family has been wrestling for a long time. And he's got a high output of strikes. And he likes to throw uh, calf kicks. But he did get knocked out by throwing that calf kick last fight. So I'm not sure if he's going to be wanting to throw it so much. I think he's going to want to wrestle a little bit more. But we'll see. I mean, he hasn't used his wrestling too much in the UFC. He mostly has used it for defense, it seems. But um, And then, uh, you know, how do I match up? I mean, that's just – everyone thinks they match up with everyone well. And then the fight happens. So I guess we'll just have to see. You know what I mean? One of the interesting things about this fight is that you guys both have the same manager. Um, has Jason or anyone kind of mentioned you like, look, we're going to try and stay out of this or like, how does that work? Cause I don't know if you've ever been in that situation before. No, I've never been in that situation, but who do I care? I don't know him. He doesn't know me. 
who cares if we have the same management? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, I was just wondering if there's any complications with that at all. Like, like maybe one of them saying like, Hey, we won't have this guy available, but uh, I guess it doesn't really uh, matter. It's bound to happen with the roster Iridium has, right? So yeah, man, it's, it's bound to happen. Iridium has a a huge roster, you know, they're, they're, they sign the best guys, man. I, I can't, I can't say anything bad about Iridium. They've been so great to me and, uh, yeah, they're a wonderful management. So they've done great things. Training camp. I see you're training everywhere. I know you're training a bit in Vegas, and you've been training obviously at the Sound and a bit with uh, you know Checkmat and everywhere. So what what does camp look like leading into this? It just looks the same as it always does. You know, um, nothing's really changed. Um, I but I like I said I've kind of slowed things down and kind of have have has have had a chance to learn a lot more as opposed to just going in and grinding and beating, getting beat up and beating people up and going home and not really sitting back and analyzing things. So um, for this fight camp, I've been able to kind of sit back and, 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 and look at things through a different lens, if that makes sense, you know, not just grinding and all that kind of shit. So it's been a great camp. I've been, I feel good. You know, like I said, I'm changing the mentality of not, you know, pressure and all this shit. Just go in and have a good time, man. Enjoy the, enjoy the trip. Now, with this fight being in Vegas, are you going to go down there a little bit earlier and get some training down there, or are you just going to go like your your regular time? Just my regular time. Just okay. Do what I usually do. Yeah, because I know you did have. Uh, I know you trained a bit earlier in the year. I know with COVID, it's tough to to get down there, but uh, I know obviously your buddy Jeremy Kennedy's down there. Which, by the way, congratulations! I saw Jeremy got married recently, so that's uh, that's great. But uh, but yeah, so just sort of uh, keep camp at home and then then head out on fight week, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the plan. Uh, training partners though, who have you mainly been working with? Anyone different or usual cast characters? No, 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 no one different. Just the usual guys. Um, you know, our, our side of Canada is just getting so good now, man. You know what I mean? Uh, we're finally getting some recognition, you know? Um, I've been training with the same guys, you know, they've, they've always been good to me and they've been great partners. So I have no reason to leave them. Uh, you know, Bibiano Fernandez, Jeremy, Gary Manget, all, all the, all the boys from over on this side and yeah, everything's been good. How's this fight playing out on September 5th? Obviously, you're going to win, but how do you envision the fight playing out? Uh, I mean, it's just such a hard... With fighting, man, there's so many answers. You know, there's so many ways the fight can go. But I feel like he's going to try to grind me. He's going to try to take me down, and I'm going to be playing off my back a little bit, and, and uh, hopefully I can catch him in something. And And if not, you know, we'll stand back up, and we'll go from there, so... I imagine, you know, you come out of this unscathed, you want a quick turnaround just to, you know, make up for lost time. I know you're kind of taking more of a patient approach to both training and everything else, but I, I assume you want to fight one more time this year if you go out there and, and get the victory on September 5th, or even if you lose, if you still want to get in there and fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. I just bought a place, right? So. Oh, did you? Oh, congrats. I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah. I haven't really posted too much about it. because Okay. It well, let's, let's talk about it. Where, where did you buy a place? The property here is expensive in BC. I, I know this firsthand when I bought my house in 2018. Um. I bought it up in Squamish, right? It's still being made. Oh, right awesome! Now. Okay. Pre-sale, you know what I mean? Um, it's just an apartment, but one. Hey, room. you know what? That's smart real estate here. I know my audience is not going to understand exactly what we're talking about here, but Squamish is up and coming, man. I've seen some of the developments and everything, and oh, it's uh, it's going to be a big hotbed over the next couple of years. It, I'm predicting it, that right now. One hundred percent. It's already started, man. They're they're putting in so much shit up here, right? So many attractions. They got the gondola and. The, the they're just making buildings and apartments every day it, it's getting really nice it's not a drive through to whistler anymore you know before it was just drive through squamish pick up some mcdonald's go to whistler you know but now we have so many good restaurants there's so much to do i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing you know what i mean because now everyone's figuring out and now that it's getting more packed i can't even go to the lake anymore you know like and it's three minutes from my house i need to wake up at 7 a.m to get there before everyone else does Whereas a few years ago, any time during the day, I can go and enjoy my time, right? So I've had to, like, hide out in Britannia because I live in Britannia, right? I don't live in Squamish. It's about 10 minutes away. But so I've been just going to the river. Nobody knows about it up in here. So I've just been hanging out in Britannia. It's, yeah. Before we uh, get out of here, uh, at the time of recording this, we had our first Canadian win a UFC contract on the Contender Series, someone I know you've trained with, TJ Laramie. Yeah. And we've got another Canadian, uh, it's someone that you train with all the time, Jamie Lynn horth Wessels. She's got a really tough fight on Contender Series coming up here. Just so people you know, who might not know her, what can they expect on Contender Series? Because uh, I've said this for a while, I think she's the best prospect in Canada. Yeah, uh, Jamie's a very good athlete. You know, she she she's gonna be very hard to beat, and she's a winner. You know what I mean? Um, 
she'll perform when the time matters. So, it, yeah, it just, yeah, I would expect just a good, tough fight from her. She, she, she always brings it. She's game. She's a, she's a good athlete. She's good everywhere. So it's going to be a great fight. Chelsea looks like she's tough. It's going to be a good fight, man. It's going to be a really good fight. Yeah, I think they did that matchup on purpose, like the two best like women's fighters. Because like, I know uh, even Chelsea's someone I've heard uh, for a while. And so I think this is almost like a UFC-level fight in a way, uh, just with the, the two getting paired up. So really mm-hmm. excited for that one. I imagine you're going to be in her corner for that fight? Yeah, I will be, yeah. Good stuff. Well, Cole, it's great catching up with you, man. Uh, hopefully we'll do this in person next time when this COVID stuff uh, dies down. But uh, in the meantime, if you got any sponsors, social media, anyone you want to thank, the floor is yours. Um. Like usual, I just like to thank Squamish, man. They've done so good. You know, they've always sponsored me and, 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 and supported me and had my back. So just lots of love to Squamish, man. That's about it.